Mary Kay Cabot, for, uh, Mary Kay Cabot from the Cleveland Plain Dealer joining us and Cleveland.com joining us right here on the Rich Eisen Show. Um, how, how confident are the Browns right now that, around that team? You know, they're really confident. And I'll tell you what, when you go out to those practices, you would never know that you're looking at a 3-13 and team uh, from last year. Uh, there is a high-flying offense. I mean, you have to think about this. Hugh Jackson, uh, he knows offense, right? And Al Saunders, his right-hand man, uh, you know, who, who is so involved in the greatest show on turf, I mean, they are installing that sort of Don Coriel, uh, you know, high-powered offense. And this thing is moving like lightning in practice. And there are some weapons on this team. Like you said, it's going to all come down to RG3. Can he pull it together? Can he get himself up off the mat? I mean, he was the third-string quarterback in Washington last year, inactive all 16 games, and sometimes playing as a safety on the scout team. Well, and, and there's no doubt that he's going to be the guy. Why haven't they just come out and named him the starter? What, what, what gives on that whole front, Mary Kay? You know what? I think that, that Hugh really wanted to see uh, that RG3 could be all the other things that he needs him to be, the face of the franchise, and most importantly, he wanted to know that he could lead these players. The biggest problems uh, that RG3 had in Washington were, you know, he didn't win over the locker room. The players didn't really like him. He didn't know exactly how to get everybody behind him and rallying for him. And, you know, that was the number one thing Hugh wanted to see. Could he do that? And, you know, he has done that to Hugh's satisfaction now, um, in large part with help from, from Josh McCown. Josh has really helped him figure out, you know, how do you do this? How do you be one of the guys, so to speak? And, uh, I mean, RG3 has done so much in that regard. He's organized, you know, bowling outings. He's hanging out with the guys. He's having, you know, Corey Coleman and others work out with him in L.A. with Tom House. And uh, he's just going overboard to show Hugh that he's that guy. Is Josh Gordon a different guy from the last time you saw him? You know, I've noticed in him a little bit less denial, a little bit more willingness to get help. Uh, you know, he just – he seems to, to understand now that, you know what, maybe I do have to change my lifestyle and maybe I do actually have a problem. He never believed that before. And so when he comes back, what do you think we're going to see out of Josh Gordon? Well, I think he's going to have to knock off the rust a little bit, but Josh has so much raw athletic ability. Uh, you know, I've, I've never really seen anything quite like it where you can just – you know, step onto an NFL field and do what he did early on after having uh, not a whole lot of playing time at Baylor because of the issues that he had there. He just uh, has a knack for, for going out there, for getting open. Again, this is an offense that is very well suited to him, similar to the one uh, that he was in when he led the NFL with 16, 46 yards in, in 2013. So, uh, you know, he's back in that sort of uh, aerial type of scheme. And as long as RG3 can get him the ball, and hey, they've had some experience together with this, uh, it should be pretty exciting. Mary Kay Cabot of the Cleveland Plain Dealer joining me here. Isaiah Crowell, what he posted a few weeks ago, beyond unacceptable. We can't, there, there are no words for what he posted and then uh, took down. Is he redeemable in any way, shape, or form in the Cleveland area, Mary Kay? You know what? I, I do think so. I really do think so. I mean, I've gotten to know him over the years, and I know that it was in the heat of the moment, and like you said, inexcusable, and, and no one can can say anything uh, at all to, to get him off the hook uh, for, for what he posted. It was horrible, but he deleted it right away, and he's taken great steps since then to really try to atone for this horrible mistake, including attending the, uh, the funeral of a slain Dallas officer, uh, committing a game check, uh, I believe, you know, he said he's willing to, to go on, um, you know, a ride along with Cleveland police. He's apologized to everyone, uh, and he's going to work within the community. I, I think it's redeemable. Okay, and defensively, how good can this team be? Uh, they're young, and they're going to need a lot of these guys to, uh, you know, to really step up and, and, and show that, that they can overachieve this year. There's three amigos who were drafted last year, Nate Orchard, uh, Danny Shelton, and Xavier Cooper. They, they really want to say, hey, you know what? Uh, let's put ourselves on the NFL map. They're going to need guys like that to step up because it's going to be young and they will have growing pain. Is Ocho Cinco there coming back? Where, where, where in the world is Chad Ocho Cinco? <laughs> That's a good question. I talked to him the other day. He said he was coming back. Uh, he said he's going to stay. He's going to be in Hugh Jackson's hair, and, and Hugh will have to pry him out of there. He didn't show up yesterday. Uh, you know, we're still kind of waiting for, for the next word mm. from Chad Johnson. But Hugh has no hair to be in Mary Kay, and I can say <laughs> such things. I can say such things, you know? Yeah, that's true. Okay. Uh, so lastly, uh, what to expect 
I, I know that everybody is in believe land now and feeling it and for good reason. What, 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 do, what do you expect from the Browns this year? Well, the, the tough thing for them is they start five of their first seven games are on the road. But two home games are the Ravens and Tom Brady coming off of his mm -hmm. four-game suspension. So that's how they start out in the first seven games. A lot will be determined by whether or not they can win on the road early on. But uh, because of that, I'm not putting them at more than five or six victories this year. Mary Kay, thanks for the time. Appreciate it. We'll see you. We'll see you down the road. Sounds good. My pleasure. You got it. Mary Kay Cabot here on The Rich Eisen Show. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.